Hello, everyone. Uh, we got some Power BI to do uh, this time around. We are going to dive a little bit into Power BI Desktop. Uh, and so we have, again, we're in the cloud. I keep drawing the cloud here. Everybody's probably getting tired of that. But anyways, so we're working with Power BI. Uh, but we're in the desktop version of Power BI. And so the data is coming from uh, BC. So we have BC and Excel. So we had two data sources coming into Power BI. And the problem is when you have two data sources coming into one, uh, you actually combine those data sources so that you can identify the number. Uh, so if we just do that like here, we have a table. Uh, and so we have the number, item number right here. And we got the uh, quantity from BC right here. And then we have quantity from a vendor right here. So the quantity, the number comes from BC. And the quantity in BC comes from there. However, the quantity from the vendor comes from Excel. So what the system does automatically, or Power BI, the desktop engine and actually the web engine as well, it combines the two, these two things into one table for you. You don't have to do anything. This is actually a database programming effort that happens here, uh, combining these things together. They're joined. Um, so, but you didn't have to do that. All you have to do is say, well, the number is the same, so go ahead and figure it out, which is great. Now, what we want to do is we want to add a total to this, which adds up. So if this is uh, QB and this is QV, then this is QB plus QV, right? And, but the, the trick here is, or the hard part is, that this quantity here is coming from Business Central. This quantity here is coming from a vendor inside an Excel sheet. And now you want to add these two together. So the system is going like, well, these, these things are retrieved. How can we do that? To you, it looks simple. You can just see them in the table right there and just say, go ahead and add them together. But to the system, it's much hotter, except if we use measures. So I'm going to go in and actually take a look at the uh, Power Query Editor a little bit. And then I'm going to add a measure to add this together to show you how we can actually achieve this. So let's take a look. OK, so let's take a look at Power BI for a second um, and just focus on that. I have this table here, which is the number from Business Central, my item number. I got the inventory in Business Central. I got the quantity from the uh, vendor uh, Excel sheet. So if I look here, for example, I have the ILEs, which are item ledger entries the items and the vendor quantity. So vendor quantity is coming from an Excel sheet. If I take a look here at the data, I can see the data in the tables. Um, and as you can see, this is all looking like ERP data here. And then when I get into vendor quantity, obviously that's just coming from an Excel sheet. Um, now, one thing about this data, if I go back here, is the inventory here has decimals. However, the quantity here doesn't. And that's slightly annoying, so I want to clean that up a little bit. I would like to have it just all be whole numbers uh, because we don't really trade in fractionals. Another thing that's an issue is you know, the, the name of the columns. It would be nice to change those, uh, so rename them. And uh, finally, we, have, we should total it up because I want to know totally what I have here. What's my total? Uh, uh, availability of each item. So how do we do that? Um, so if I go here into uh, modeling, actually just home, uh, we have something called edit queries. If I click on that, I get into a power query editor, which is really nice. This, this is sort of the, uh, the place where we bring in the data sources and we can manipulate the data source. Um, and it goes through these steps for each one of the data source, data sources. 
uh, when, when it's bringing in the tables. So my issue was with the inventory coming from, um, from BC. What I wanted to do was actually uh, make it a whole number. So I can go in here, just right click and say change type. And I want to change it into a whole number. And see now it actually applies that on this data source. And I can go into ILEs uh, and I could do the same for the inventory there for each one of the ILEs uh, if I wanted to. So if I cl uh, click on the vendor quantity, I can see that that is already a whole number. So that's good. Um, now, if I wanted to add a column here to include um, the total of quantity and the inventory, that's not that easy. So here, if I, if I go into add column, put a custom column, I could do that. But the, the problem is that I cannot work with anything out of a different table in here. So I can only work with this table. And I wanted to put a sum of this table and the other table. So, and if I, I could actually come in here and say merge queries and merge the two queries of the uh, items and the venture quantity, but that gets messy. So it's, it's not really the way to go. So in order to get the sum of these two columns, I have to do that as a measure inside Power BI in the dashboard or actually in the visualization. I'm going to do that in a second. But there was one other thing that I wanted to do, which was change um, the name of this. So here we can just go ahead and rename this column, and I'm going to call it vendor quantity. I actually do it like this. And over here, I'll call this, I'll rename that as BC quantity. So you can see here we have renamed columns. So what the system is doing when it's getting the data, it picks the source, navigates to this table in the source, changes the type of quantity to whole numbers and renames the inventory to BC quantity. So this is all it does when you're refreshing the data, all right? So we just apply and close. And now it's applying the changes. As you can see, it goes through the loading of the data and creating everything. Uh, and now it's good. So if I go back here, I can see we have BC quantity and vendor quantity. So this is starting to make more sense and it's cleaned up the, uh, the decimals. Now we're just missing to add these together. So let's go ahead and do that. In order to do that, we want to add a measure. So if I just go in here and say new measure, um, we get a new measure in down in here. So it's measure equal and I'm gonna just call it total quantity. And so here I can actually sum up the, um, the item, see, items uh, BC quantity, like that, and say that is plus the sum of um, vendor quantity, which is vendor quantity right here. And I close that out. And now it creates this measure. And this measure is now uh, affecting this table right here. So I should have it here. And it was called uh, vendor quantity. So let me see vendor quantity, BC quantity. Uh, where did it go? Total quantity right here. Oops, wrong table. Click on this, here we go. Total quantity, now we have it. All right, so now we can see that we have eight of these, 789 at the vendor and total is 797. And so it's adding everything up. So this here is the total quantity at vendor and, and BC. So we are now summing it up and the data makes sense and looks a little bit better.